Lord to glory. Always. We can call on him at any time. Our God never on WhatsApp. Our God is never on Facebook. He's always there whenever we need him. Praise the Lord. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to invite Sister Clark to come and make you feel more welcome. Thank you, Sister Lois. It's a good time to get acquainted. It's a good time to know those are standing right beside you. Just smile and say hello. We're going to greet the person seated beside us and you're going to shake their hands. And so greeting, there's a greeting, there's a shake hand, and there's a smile. Okay? It's a good time to get acquainted. It's a good time to know. of God. Mine is the pleasure to welcome you another year. And I don't remember what I say from year to year, but I do know that I always say how time flies. Because it seems as if it's just the other day that we were all here and here we are again. And that means that we need to make sure that we are ready because time is flying. But guess what? We are glad to have you. And it's always a pleasure to host this convention. And we, the leadership and the members of the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God, we try our best to see what we can do with the resources that we have. So, I hope that as you come, you will be blessed. Do not allow anything to stop you from getting a blessing this today. You have traveled from your homes, not to come to meet anybody, but to get a blessing and also to be a blessing. Amen. So I'm going to encourage you. Whatever else not so right, just tell yourself that I'm here to be blessed this morning. So I want to welcome our national president. She will be in a little while. 
but I'll save it for when she comes because we want to give it to her personally. But I want to welcome all those who are seated in the sanctuary and in the overflow, but I want to especially welcome those who are viewing via live stream and also on More FM. We welcome you most heartily to this convention. And although you are not here physically with us, we are sure that you will also receive a blessing. Now, we're going to now go to do a little welcome a different way. Can you welcome the person who is seated beside you? But guess what? We're going to do a roll call. All right? So wherever you are, whether you're in the overflow or in the sanctuary or you're at home, when I call your parish, you're going to give a shout out. Okay? But I'm going to teach you a little song. And it is one word. It's a song with one word. And I want you to learn the tune. And it goes like this. My voice is not doing so well, but it simply goes like this. Well. Come, we did it one year already. Come on, sing it with me. Well, come. That's the song. It's an easy tune, right? Good. Now, when I call the parishes, those persons will stand, and the rest of us will sing that song to them. All right? So, this is the Cornwall Zone, and we have persons here from Westmoreland. Can I have the people from Westmoreland? Come on now, come, let's sing for them. Ready? Well, um, thank you, Westmoreland. Put your hands together for them. And where are the persons from Hanover? The Hanoverians. Whoa. Okay, come on, the rest of us, let's sing now. One, two. Well, um, put your hands together for the Hanoverians. Now, where are those from Saint Elizabeth? My, my, they are here in numbers. Come on, we need to welcome them. Come again. One, two. Put your hands together for them. And where are those from Trelawney? Come on, let's welcome them. One, two. Put your hands together for them. Now, where are those from St. James? They are in the overflow. All right, the persons from St. James gave the visitors the seats, and many of them are in the overflow. So come now, let's welcome the people from St. James. Put your hands together for them. And we have some people that don't belong to Cornwall. That don't belong to Cornwall. If you come from anywhere else in Jamaica, please stand. <laughs> so we have from Kingston and we have from Manchester. And I don't know if we are from anywhere else. Come on, all of us now, we don't want them to feel out of place because this is the best, right? It's best in the West. So let's sing for them. Welcome. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for yourselves. I am sure that you are feeling welcome. Okay? Now, I just, before I go, just want to say a few things. We have provided lunch. Lunch tickets are on sale. They're at the front. You can go. We have chicken, pork, fish, and mutton. You have a choice. We have tried to keep the price affordable, all right? We wish we could feed all of you, you know, but we can't. So you have to see with us, all right? So you can buy your tickets from the registration desk at the front, all right? And when it's time for lunch, 
we're going to ask you to be respectful of the sanctuary, all right, and not to litter the place, all right? Thank you ever so much. It's my... Okay. And um, we, the bathroom facilities, we have signs here, bathrooms at the back, and there's some under the administrative office. Please just ask an usher if you are not sure where to go. Somebody will be able to assist you. Now, we do not have the space to accommodate the parking, and our neighbors have been gracious enough. The Open Bible Church, First Church, has been gracious to allow us to park there. I'm going to ask us kindly to make sure that our church has a good name. We cannot leave the rubbish down there. You understand? I'm fiercely defensive of my church. And I try to do everything to make my church look good. You get me? So please, when you go, some people go down there to eat. Please do not leave the rubbish down there. We're going to be putting bags for you to place them in. Because if you leave it, it's going to look bad. Not true. All right? So please cooperate with us and put your garbage in whatever has been provided. So, I am trusting that you'll have a wonderful day in the Lord. And I just want to welcome Sister, Sister Blair, Sister Evon Blair, who is the past president, um, a distinguished past president of the women's ministry. Please stand, Sister Evon. And our national president is not here. Just now, she'll come, be coming in a while. Sister Evon, you're, you're coming? Okay. She'll be coming in a while, but she has been doing a good job. She has led us with distinction over the past year. And we want to allow her to know that we appreciate the leadership that she has given. Put your hands together that Sister Blair can understand that we love her and we appreciate her. God bless you, people. You have a wonderful day. Now, we have an arrangement to accommodate the elderly persons who are coming in in the passage. The elderly person. So if you see us putting chairs there, it's for those older ones who cannot take the stairs. All right? So that was the arrangement. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Sister Clark. Always a very pleasant host. Could you give her a clap? Thank you, ma'am. Now we're moving on, but before we go any further, I was asked to remind you of two things. We have Women's Ministries Manual on Sale for $700. You can get one at the table. Yes, Andy? It involves the Young Women's Ministry also. And our dear sister Evan has her book out, Work of the Word. Here it is. Please. Work the Word. I'm sorry. Work the Word. And so it's only $1,000. So could you please ensure you get one before you leave here? Words of truth and deliverance. We'll certainly. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, we'll continue with today's program. Praise the Lord. Praise Sister Brooks, good to see you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to see you. At this time, we're going to have a presentation from the Negril Choir. Could you put, make them feel welcome? The Negril Church. Okay, our president is here. Yes. She's not just come, you know. Come up here, Sister Blair. Please stand and allow this noble woman of God to know how we feel about her and her leadership. She's a beautiful person, one of the loveliest persons I know. We love you and we appreciate you and you've been doing a good job. Look at her and say, good job.
In the God, in the book of God, so precious, we have told of Pentecost. How the blessed Lord disciples tarry for the Holy Ghost. Pentecost fire fell on them, burning up the sin and doors, filling them with power for service, making them a mighty host. Pentecost the fire is falling, praise the Lord, it fell on me. can be repeated for the Lord is just the same yesterday, today, forever hallelujah, hallelujah. glory to his precious name saints of God can be victorious over sea and dead hand have a full and free salvation and the blessed story tell glorious victory over every land and sea lifting as a blood stained banner holiness the mortar be oh, Pentecost the fire is falling yeah, praise, praise the Lord it fell on me yes, Pentecost the fire is falling yeah, praise the Lord it fall on you when the church of Jesus tarries Pentecost the fire will fall, sin and wrongs will be defeated, sinners and the Lord will come, she shall march a glorious victory over every land and sea, lifting as a bloodstained banner, holiness and mortar be. Oh, Pentecost the fire is falling, praise the Lord is fell on me. Oh no, 
You know, with what is happening in the society today, our marriages are at stake. The devil is attacking marriages and the devil is attacking left, right and centre. And some people who you thought they were safe, the devil is at them, don't it? And you thought all was well, yes, I have it set, but the devil said no, no. But today, we are going to call on God this morning. We are going to storm the force of darkness against marriages this morning and so before sister Horton comes i'm just gonna ask you to stand and sing with us parables of heaven praise god praise and then the she's going to come and amen. she's going to pray for marriages amen while we are living in this world of care many a That is standing next to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we're going to be praying. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, we worship you. Hallelujah. We exalt your name, O God, for indeed you are worthy. There is no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Nissi. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah Rohe. Omnipotent, omniscient God, our very present help in the time of trouble. Your words declare that one poor man cried unto your God, and you heard him, hallelujah, and you delivered him out of all his troubles. Today, Almighty God, we recognize that our marriages are in trouble. But because we know that there is nothing that you cannot do, for you are able to do the impossible. You are able to do far exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or even think. And so this morning, Daniel God, I come to you. Oh God, calling out to you. From the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. I am asking you for help today God. On behalf of our marriages. Your word 
said, Lord, that we shall declare a thing and it shall be established. And so right now, under the authority of the Holy Ghost, I want to declare that our marriages will line up to the word of Almighty God. For your words declare who you have joined together. Let no man put asunder. Your words declare that a husband should leave mother and father and cleave to their wives. And so right now, God, every marriage that is under attack, I plead the blood of Jesus against every attack. Every attack that has been orchestrated from the pit of hell to destroy our marriages. I declare that the fire of the Holy Ghost will begin to burn. I declare that the Holy Ghost will dismantle. The Holy Ghost will destroy every plan of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare Daniel God. That every marriage. That is going through divorce. Lord God we bind that demon today. We bind the demon. Of divorce. We take authority. Against the demon. Of divorce. And I declare in the atmosphere. That no more of our Christian marriages. Shall go through divorce. Holy Ghost do a new thing Holy Ghost do a new thing I declare that the enemy of our marriages will be silenced right now in the name of Jesus we dismantle we silence we cripple Every assignment against our marriages. Mm. Holy Ghost. A Holy Ghost. Yes, God. Ah, oh, God, I declare that every spirit of Delilah, every Jezebel spirit that is reaping havoc in our marriages will be stopped today. In the name of Jesus, we are not negotiating. Our God, we're not asking. We're commanding every spirit of Jezebel and Delilah to cease. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we call the host of heaven on the behalf of our marriages. In the name of Jesus, our God, hallelujah, every separation room right now, we command it to be closed. In the name of Jesus, and every marriage that is on the rock, I speak life. Hey God, I command every dead marriage to come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, marriage is an institution instituted by God and no devil from hell is going to steal our joy in the name of Jesus there are some hurting women oh God some ladies are hurting yes some men are hurting but today we put a stop to every war that has been raging in our marriages all the marriages that are under bondage we're declaring a loosen. We're declaring freedom in the homes. A freedom. Freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daniel God. We call you right now. Come by here. Come by here God. For the marriages need you. My God almighty. Some persons are crying. But I pray in the name of Jesus. That you will give beauty for rashes and strength for pain. I declare that every tears will be dried right now. I declare peace in the midst of every marriage storm. Hey, Holy Ghost, 
for your coming in the midst of the storm, oh God, to deliver from all harms. And when the storm gets so rough, you will say that's enough. Take charge. Take charge, Holy Ghost. Oh God, I declare that it is finished. Oh God, it is finished. The war is over. Yes, God. Every war in our marriages, it's over today. And you are Lord. Will you take preeminence? Will you take a stand? You know, marriage is mighty God. Have our way, God. Have your way, mighty God. Do for us what no other powers can do. As we call on you today, your words declare that when we call, you will hear us and you will show us great and mighty things. And so today we are believing you that there's going to be a turnaround in the marriages. We're believing you that there's going to be a change. And for that we thank you, oh God. And we believe you. We call it done. In the name of the Father, our God, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost, can somebody shout freedom? Freedom! Freedom! To every marriage that is under bondage. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let God's people just clap your hands. Just lift your hands above your hand and just give God a praise in worship this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We believe the word. We claim it. We claim it today in the name of Jesus. And we, we believe and it is, that it is done. Amen, amen. Amen, church of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I don't know how you're feeling, but I feel a, a sense of feeling. I feel a sense of fire. I feel a little... Oh, hallelujah. Just, just wave your hands, people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. And we are streaming live and we know that those persons who cannot be here, they are believing God with us. And they are receiving their blessing just the same. Amen. And those in the overflow, we love you and we know you are with us. And we are having a wonderful time today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to do this chorus, Jehovah is your name. And we are going to have another prayer. And brethren, we really need this one. I am a part of this system. And I can tell you, it's not like what we are used to. The schools have changed. The situation is not nice. Hallelujah. And we ask you today, Please, do not allow only the person that is asked to pray, which is Sister Nicola Walcott to pray, Robbins to pray. But I'm asking you to remember us, everybody in here today. It is not so pretty. It is not so pretty. And we need your help. We need your prayer. The children need your prayer. And you'll be surprised at what is happening. But God is able this morning. And we are believing God for a victory. Amen. 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 So the first team will be singing. And then Sister Nicola will come with the prayer. Pastor, I am sorry. That's why I must wear my eyes. You know? Pastor Nicola Robinson will come. Please come. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Amen. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Bless the Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
hand and let's look to the Lord in power great is thy faithfulness Lord unto us morning by morning new mercies we've seen all we have needed thine hands have provided great is your faithfulness Lord to us Lord we praise you this morning we adore you, mighty God. We exalt you. We decree that there is no God like you, Jehovah. You deserve all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. You are mighty to save. Mighty God, this morning you are sovereign. And so we worship you with everything that we have within us. Ah, uh, we declare my hallelujah, my glory, my thank you, Lord, belongs to you because you have been faithful to us. We build our school on thee, O oh Lord. To thee we bring our common needs. Father, in the name of your son Jesus, you have invited us. You said, come unto me, all ye that I labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You also give us another inv invitation. You said, come let us reason together. God, we have more than what to reason with you today. But at this moment, we come, mighty God, because our schools, our educational institutions are in trouble. Mighty God, we need your divine help. We have sought help from many other sectors. But they have proven to fail, mighty God. And so we look to you now, mighty God. Because you are the only source that can truly deliver. 
Father, many of our four parents, they were not educated. But mighty God, they know the importance of having you in our schools. Father, they used to rise up early and take care of the children and send them off. But before they send them off to school, they used to lay their hands upon the children and bless them before they go. Many of them, mighty God, would take time out of their schedule and they would visit the schools early in the morning to conduct devotions because they know how important it was for you to be in the schools. But mighty God, as we have become so educated, oh God Almighty, it seems as if we can do without you. And so God, most uh, schools, some schools abroad, they have taken out devotion completely. Ah, the name of Jesus is not to be called in the schools. And God, we have seen the end results. Oh God, persons walk into schools and open fire on the children. Lord God Almighty. And so because of the state in which we are in, Lord, we look to you now. Father, we ask you to start at the end. Those who sit to put the policies in place that govern the school. Eternal Father, when this board sit to plan, grant true wisdom from above. God, I pray that you will minister to them. I pray that you will lead and guide them. God Almighty, there was a time when teachers, when principals, they were respectable and they were respected. God, we were not afraid to leave our children in their care because they would have treated them as if they were their own. Now, mighty God, teachers have become predators. Oh, God Almighty, they are telling our children all sorts of things. And they are also leading them into all sorts of lifestyle. Oh, God Almighty, we have seen over the years... Because we have ignored you, Charlie, Charlie Demon has taken over our schools. Momo has taken over our schools. Uncle Demons have taken over our schools. But Almighty God, we come to you today and we call on you, mighty deliverer. We ask you, God, to visit our educational institutions. We ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost. Will burn out all form of demons. Oh God, everything that is in place that is anti you in our schools, burn it out, Holy Ghost. Bring back a godly fear in our institutions. Lord, allow people to know that the formula still exists. Jesus plus education equals success. And so rest your hand on the principles. Oh God, some of them are trying. But the system, mighty God. Oh God Almighty, some of them, even the very staff around them, are trying, are fighting against the principles. But God, I beg of you this morning uh, that holiness that righteousness will rain down in our schools uh, lord god where children will learn to be honest uh, where children will learn to respect each other's property god almighty i beg of you that you will just visit from the infant school uh, right up to the universities uh, for god we have seen where our young people uh, oh god when they were in primary school and even high school they were doing so well with their behavior but the moment they hit the university the same boy and girl who used to praise you they are now saying is God really real I pray God because our universities and colleges they have now become like a factory producing all sorts 
lots of other stuff. Mighty God, I ask you this morning, touch our children again. Anoint them again. Because God, the buildings are not the problem. It is the people that occupy the building. If the people are transformed, oh God, then the whole notion will be changed. So God, we were wrong. We were wrong, mighty God, to put uh, education above you. We were wrong, mighty God, to think that we can go through the system without you. We were wrong, mighty God, to uh, ignore your signs and warnings. But today we come like a child that has just been beaten by their parents because of something that they have done wrong. We crawl to your mercy seat and we beg you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, God. Have mercy, God. Have mercy, God. Have mercy. schools Lord let your Holy Spirit now go and cleanse it rid it of all demons all demonic forces every plan that they have for the schools we mash them up to their mighty God oh, we render them powerless God and we just invite you back to rule and reign in our educational institutions and God for these and other mercies, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I feel that prayer in the name of Jesus. I feel it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Blessed Redeemer, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Jesus, we believe. We believe, Lord, and we claim it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Thank you, sis, Pastor, for that prayer. We're going to be worshiping and giving. But I want you to um, realize that the district presidents will be collecting the offering, but it will not be given to the different districts. It's a general offering that we're collecting. So we're asking whoever passes by, just give anybody your offering. You have an offering. So you don't have to be walking up and down and looking for X, Y. Just give it to anybody. It's a general offering that will be collected. All right? Amen? Amen. So whether it doesn't matter who you see, just... Give an offering and give to the best of your ability. At this time, the praise team will come and we will call it the offering. Could you bow, bow your heads a minute? Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, God, for all that you have been doing for us. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the blessing. We're about to collect the offering. I pray you'll breathe on it, God. Bless the givers, God. God, we know, God, we cannot do this without you. So bless on the offering and the givers and let it be used for the uplifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah is worthy. To be praised. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus gone to prepare a mansion for me. Far, far away. Far over the sea. No sickness, no sorrow.
And when we say we greet you, we greet the saints in the name of the Lord. And soon coming king. Everybody get up and say the same thing. Same thing, you know. We're on one accord, Sister Christine. My God, my God, my God. I'm looking forward to that day. When we go to glory square, we don't see any cripple. I know blind man, I know sick people. Lord Jesus, when we get to glory land, I'm looking forward to the day. This body has been rocked and struggling and challenged, but one of these days, we're going to get to glory land. And that place, there'll be no night there, no sickness there, no crying there. What a day. No wonder this body could not contain it. No wonder we have to be changed. God, this body couldn't handle that. My God, my God, my God, my God. I greet you. I always say it's best in the West. It's best. I'm from the East, you know, but the other half is from the West. So I agree. So the best is from the West. <laughs> I greet you in the name of the Lord. I bring you greetings from our bishop and... You know, we, you know, I said, oh, you're not going to be with me today. You know that. You know that kind of talk. But he, I'm sure his heart is here praying for us. And he's on the battlefield at this time. So we're praying for him. Oh, so I agree to our moderator, Sister Jacqueline Lewis. Does she have fire? So the young people, they must fire. You know, the older ones have to calm it down a little bit. They must fire, right? Don't you agree with me? All right, I greet our moderator, I greet our host pastor, Bishop Clark and his darling wife. And greetings coming today from the very depths of my heart to you, my beloved sisters and brothers. Our Jen Sek is here also and his wife, and she named Yvonne, you know. Our Jen Sek and wife are here also. I greet all of you good people. Glad to see Sister Brooks and see those people, you know, holding up our hands and Sister Dulcie and them holding us up. Amen. You always bring joy to my heart when I see the great effort you make to attend the zone conventions every year. I wonder why the other zones can't do this. Anybody can tell me? I told them this morning, the driver coming down, I said, when I reach to Montego Bay Church, it's going to be packed. And it was. It wasn't jam-packed yet, but it was packed out. And I know that people in Cornwall, just as the other, the other counties, so I don't know why they can't come out like how the Cornwall people come out. Give yourselves a big hand this morning. Thank you for coming today in your numbers to make this memorable day in the life of the Women's Ministries Department. Our theme today, Faith, Fire, Freedom. And, and we started out a good time with this, you know. If you hear those people spoke on these words that they at our prayer conference. Sister Kishane Ambersley, Sister Laura Horton, Sister Kasmin Beeson, and they did a powerful job. Faith, fire, and freedom. It speaks to us about three important aspects of the Christian life. First, it is through faith in God where we are saved and kept. Secondly, it is by the fire of the Holy Spirit that we sang about this morning. That we are endued with power to live a victorious life. Amen? Amen? Thirdly, when we are full of faith and empowered by the Holy Spirit, we walk in freedom. My prayer today is that we will be blessed beyond measure as we worship together in the presence of the Holy Ghost. I'm really here to present our speaker this morning. She's not going to be coming to us right away, Sister Jackie will call the other choir, and I'm sure she'll invite you to stand when our speaker comes, our very own speaker today. Our speaker has been bo a born-again believer for over 47 years. She's a member of the Franklin Town New Testament Church of God in Kingston. I think our membership is still there. She has been ministering the gospel at conventions, crusades, retreats and seminars both locally and internationally. She's a graduate of the New York University, University of the West Indies, the Edna Manley's College of the Visual and Performing Arts, and the College of Arts, 
science and technology, now known as the University of Technology. She's also a graduate of Bessie Bible College of the Caribbean. Our speaker holds a Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Education, Bachelor's of Education in Apparent Design, Production and Management, a Diploma in Hospitality and Tourism Management. She's a certified by the International Conference of Police, Police Chaplaincy and offers voluntary services to the Jamaica Constabulary Forces as chaplain. She's also a certified marriage counselor, if you please. Our sister is an ordained minister of the New Testament Church of God and currently serves in the capacity as pastor of the Cornwall Court New Testament Church of God. She's married to Reverend Ralston Powell and is the blessed mother of three beautiful adult children. Her guiding principle comes from 1 Corinthians 10.31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Today, I'm speaking of none other than our very own. Hear what I say? She never come from America. Our very own, our very own, our very own sister, Mrs. Paulette, Reverend Powell. Our very own sister, Mrs. Reverend Paulette Powell. And I'm sure the moderator will ask you, after the choir sings, to stand and welcome our sister today. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Blair. Do a little better, no man. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So at this time, we're going to be listening to the Lucy choir. We'll be singing for us. And as she says, as soon as the choir is through singing, I'm just going to ask you all to stand and receive the preacher in the name of the Lord. And please give her your full attention. Amen. Amen. Lucy choir at this moment. Yes.
Thank you. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Come, Holy Spirit. I need you. Come, sweet spirit. I pray, O oh glory. Come in your strength and in your power. Come in your own special way. 
It is such a beautiful day to be in the house of God and more so to be experiencing the presence of Almighty God. I want to greet our national president, one of the most humblest women of God I have ever met, Sister Evan Blair. And I want to say to her publicly that she has been a Christian example of a woman of God to me. I admire her quiet strength. I admire her beauty in the Lord. And I love her from the depth of my heart. I also want to acknowledge the presence of our General Secretary, the Reverend Jeff De Reed, and his wife, Sister Reed. Also, members of the National Executive Women's Board. And I also want to specially mention Sister Evan Blair. And I think Sister Blair was my third district president as a young girl. And so I am very happy to see her. I also want to acknowledge Reverend Clement Clark and Sister Clark. And also, how can I forget all the wonderful women and men of God who are in the house today to bring praise to Almighty God. We also want to recognize those who are in the overflow. And we want to encourage you to burst out in praise and to praise Almighty God as you view what is happening on the inside. Today is a special day in the life of the church and in the life of the woman of God. And so as we come to celebrate the theme, faith, fire, and freedom, we want to make ourselves available to the spirit of Almighty God that he will use us. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you for your greatness. We want to thank you for who you are. For from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And you change it not. We thank you because you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We thank you for you are a God who specializes in the things that are impossible. And so we come here today to give you thanks and to give you praise. We come here today to make ourselves available to you. Lord, here am I, a little lump of insignificant clay. But I make myself available to you so that you can use me, Lord. I pray, Almighty God, that you will fill me up so that I will overflow. I pray, Almighty God, that you will take my lips and that they will become yours. I pray, dear God, that you will pour your holy anointing upon this little lump of clay. I pray, dear God, that whatever you want to say to your people, I will be willing to say, thus said, Almighty God. Lord, I know somebody come for a word from you. And so I pray, dear God, that you will speak that word through me. Somebody comes to be delivered. And so I pray that there will be deliverance in the house. In the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit that is not of God. I come against every force of darkness that would seem to prevent the word of Almighty God. And we pull it down and we cast it down in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that at the end your name will be glorified. We pray that at the end your people will praise you for you are God. And there is none like on to you. I would like to invite you if you would turn in your Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17. 
and also Hebrew 11 verse 6. Romans 1 verse 17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that overcometh to God, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. This morning I would like to address us on the theme, living by faith. Living by faith. Faith is defined by the Collins Dictionary to fully believe, to have confidence, to have assurance, to have conviction. Faith is to believe and to be faithful to the belief. Faith is said to be the supportive assurance and confidence of things earnestly expected. In other words, faith is trusting God before you see it. Faith asks us to believe the unproven, accept the unknown, and embrace the unseen, and commit to the unreasonable. Faith is trusting God to divide the Red Sea and make the walls of Jericho come down. Faith is essential in the life of a Christian. Hebrew 11 and verse 6 tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And Romans chapter 4 and verse 33 says, For whatever is not faith is sin. Faith makes it possible to feel the intangible and hear the inaudible. Faith calls things not necessarily visible with the natural senses to be already done. Abraham was convinced that God would fulfill his covenant promise by making him the father of many nations even against physical evidences. He walked by faith and not by senses. This morning, my brothers and sisters, the Christian is commanded to live by faith, to take God at his words, and to fully trust in his promises, even against opposition from people, from circumstances and from things. The question that you may be asking, the question that may be forefront in your mind is how can I live by faith? My brothers and sisters, the word of God shows us that the way is in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17. It said all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. The believer is called upon to walk by faith. In 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 7, the apostles speak, For we walk not by sight, but by faith. And in Romans 4 and verse 12, it is recorded that faith makes walking with God possible. Walking in faith means walking in power. For God is power. Hallelujah. And his power is at work in us and for us. Walking by faith also means 
Jews growing in Christ. In Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 and 7 we read, As you have therefore received Christ the Lord, so walk ye in him rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as he have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving if we walk with God we will grow in Christ hallelujah if we walk with God we will also be built and abound for when we walk with God by faith we will experience intimate fellowship with him. It is such a beauty to see people who thought, think they have discovered the wonderful world of love stroll hand in hand together. As we walk by faith with our heavenly father, we will experience sweet communion as Enoch did while he walk with God, we will experience intimate fellowship. We will not only experience intimate fellowship, but we will be guided by the hand of Almighty God. We can sing, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. I'm just a pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Hallelujah. The psalm is in Psalm 48. Hallelujah. In verse 14 wrote, For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even until death. This is a comforting promise that as we journey by faith, God promises to be our trusted guide and friend. He promised to show us the way. Life can be a frustrating journey. The Christian life can be cumbersome and frustrating. So many twists and turns along the way. So many bumps in the road. So many potholes. So many, hallelujah. So many trenches. So many sleeping policemen. We came, come upon without warning that would allow our feet to slip and would allow us to go astray. Hallelujah. But we have a competent tour guide. Oh God Almighty. We have a competent armor bearer who will carry us. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. He will not only guide us on our journey of faith, but he promises to comfort and to strengthen us as we go from day to day. In Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 25, it is written as the day so, so shall thy strength be. Hallelujah. This was one of the blessings that Moses pronounced upon the tribe, hallelujah, of Asher. But it is also for every child of God. As you journey, so shall your strength be. As your trials, so shall your strength be. As your testing, so shall your strength be. As you walk by faith, God will strengthen you. The word of God assures us that we shall run and not be weary, that we shall walk and that we shall not faint as we walk by faith. I want to say to us that this walk leads home. Enoch walked with God and he had a harmonious relationship with God. He experienced sweet communion with Almighty God. God enjoyed the company of Enoch so much that one day, while they were walking, God transported Enoch to the other side. May I pause long enough to propose to us that when we walk with God, hallelujah, in harmony and fellowship,
hardship, this walk will lead us home. Come on, I just want you to worship God. Hallelujah. Just worship God in the house. Hallelujah. Faith makes walking with God possible. It is only our faith that makes this possible. Abraham, the father of the faithful, trusted in God's goodness. He heard and he heeded the promises of God and depended on God to be trustworthy. His faith gave him a vision. Hallelujah. And so he left his homeland in obedience to the call of Almighty God. He journeyed to the promised land without possessing it. Abraham looked for a city whose builder and whose ruler was Almighty God. As a stranger in a land of promise, he journeyed with his eyes upon Almighty God. Abraham focused his faith upon Jehovah God. Hallelujah. May I submit to us that faith must be focused properly. If as children of God, we are going to live by faith, we need to focus our faith in God and in his promises. Faith is the effect of a certain cause. That cause is God. Hallelujah. If we want to know God, we need to go to his words. We should listen as he speaks to us. And we should also harmonize with the promises of God as we face our situation. Paul in Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 wrote, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of Almighty God. The power that belonged to God is stored in the rich reservoir of his words. If we wish to make God's power ours, we must go to the Bible. If we are to receive fullness of power and faith, we are to build our faith in God. We must eat up God's word. We must be it regularly in the word of Almighty God. We must take long bath into the word of Almighty God. For the word of God has power to produce faith. Faith is taking God at his word. Fully trusting his promises. Faith comes through a constant and sincere study of the word of Almighty God, which increases our understanding. Second Timothy 2 and verse 15 encourages us study to show thyself. Approve unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. To increase our faith, we must take God at his words. The word of God gives us faith. We need to cast aside every doubt, to cast aside fear. Hallelujah. Doubt and fear. They are the enemies of fear. Hallelujah. But with the word of God, we will be encouraged that we are more than conquerors through him that overcome. David declared Goliath defeated before the first stone left the sling. David knew that God was a deliverer. David knew that Goliath would come down because he had faith in Almighty God. If David had doubted, hallelujah, if David did not have faith in God, the outcome may have been different. Hallelujah. If he had allowed negative thoughts to, to cause his mind to waver, but faith in God was the strength of David. The giants in your life 
will be struck dead if you have faith in almighty God you need to speak faith over your situation you need to speak faith over your circumstances you need to speak faith over your sicknesses and your diseases you need to speak faith over your failing marriage you need to speak faith over your wayward boy and your wayward girl because faith in God can move a mighty mountain faith in God can calm a troubled sea faith in God can turn a desert like a fountain faith in God can bring the victory what oh God almighty What is your Goliath this morning? Hallelujah. What is your taunting enemy this morning? What is threatening your faith in Almighty God? Hallelujah. You need to speak the word. You need to speak the word. Speak the word and there will be life. Speak the word and there will be deliverance. Speak the word, oh God Almighty, and there will be victory. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. We need to speak the word over some dead situation today. Hallelujah. We need to speak the word of faith um, over some situations um, that um, they have been going on um, for a long time. Um, it's not just last year. Uh, it's not just the year before. Um, we have some 10 years of uh, dead situation. Um, we have some 15 years of uh, dead situation. Um, we have some 20 years of um, dead situation. Uh, but we come here today. Hallelujah. We come here today with the sling of Almighty God to slay, to kill some Goliath. Hallelujah. That has been taunting us for years and for months. Goliath of poverty. Goliath, hallelujah, of failing marriages. Goliath of sicknesses. Goliath of bad neighbors. Goliath of job loss. Goliath. But we come in faith that God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We come against some negative thoughts. Hallelujah. That allows our faith to waver. Hallelujah. But we go to the word of God. Hallelujah. Because faith wins mighty victory. Hallelujah. Through the word of God. Victory over the world. Victory over the flesh. And victory over the devil. Hallelujah. The flesh has been keeping you down. But we come today because the word of God gives victory over the flesh. Hallelujah. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 verse 33 and 34 reads, Who through faith subdue kingdoms wrought righteousness and obtained promises stop the mouth of lions quench the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong what's valiant in faith turn to flight the enemies of the alien hallelujah it was according to the command of God through faith kingdom was subdued 
They executed the righteous judgment of God upon the enemies of God and the church. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that they also obtain promises for Joshua conquer Canaan and Gideon defeated the Midianites and David became king of Israel. Daniel threw faith up the mouth of lion and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego through faith quenched the violence of fire. The faith of these men was great. It consisted in the committing of themselves unto the omnipotency and the sovereignty of God. They were able to escape. Hallelujah! The sword, your midnights are upon you, but through faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, somebody, through faith. Joshua was able to march, hey God, around the walls of Jericho with his troop and the walls, hallelujah, came tumbling down. Have you stopped marching around your Jericho wall? Have you stopped, oh God Almighty? But through faith, your wall must come down. It was only through faith. That this was accomplished. Hallelujah. They were just men and women. Like we are today. But their faith in God. Took them to a higher height. I want to say to us. That David. Hallelujah. Affirms that it was through God. Hallelujah, that he was able to be victorious. David said, God taught my hands hey, to war. God wants to teach your hands to fight war. Hey, somebody, lift up your hands and praise God in the house. Oh, God Almighty, our praises is a great force. Hey, it's a great weapon in warfare. Hallelujah! As we shout at God, hey, with our prayers, principalities, and powers, and stronghold, and demon, and devils, our men, or whatever it be, for no water can swallow the ship. Isaiah said, when you pass through the fire, you shall not be burned. And when you pass through the flood, oh God Almighty, you shall not be drowned. For God is our refuge. God is our strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. The Lord is my shepherd, said David. I shall not walk. to lie down in green pastures he restored my soul he leaded me yeah though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod, your staff, they come for me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head. Jesus. David said, I have nothing to fear. But God is my bodyguard. God is my bodyguard. Hey, 
somebody. He walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own. You belong to God. You belong to God. I belong to God. I am not my own. I belong to Jesus. Oh, God Almighty. Two faith battles are one. Hallelujah. It was through faith that the Shunammite woman's son was raised by Elisha. It was through faith that the widow of Zarephah son was raised by Elijah. Hallelujah. Faith in God. Hallelujah. Will bring the victory. If we want our faith to be strengthened in Almighty God, we must also love to pray. Prayer energizes faith. Paul finished his discourse on the whole armor of God with an exhortation to pray earnestly according to Ephesians 6 and verse 18. I want to say that intense and sincere prayer, hallelujah, gets answers and produce results. Prayer opens the door to faith and it builds faith. Hallelujah. The women were praying. Hallelujah. When the disciples were locked up in prison, they also prayed and sang praises unto Almighty God. Hallelujah. And a terrible earthquake shook the prison and they were delivered. Prayer. Hallelujah. Energizes faith. Sometimes we worry. Sometimes we complain about our situation. But we need to find knee city. And if you can't go down on your knee, hallelujah, you must lie down on your belly. And if you can't lie down on your belly, you must catch up in a corner. Come on. Because there is no proper posture in prayer. Hallelujah. But we must talk to God because central is never busy. We can talk to Jesus on the royal telephone. There is no time set aside for prayer. You can call him in the morning. You can call him at noon. You can call him in the evening. You can call him at midnight. Come on, somebody. Is there a midnight cry in the house? You're going through your midnight. You need to cry out to Almighty God because his ears are not heavy so that he cannot hear you. Cry out, cry out. Let your faith cry out. Let your faith cry out to him. Bartimaeus was blind and he could not see, oh God. But he cried out to Almighty God. There were a lot of skeptics around him, but he cried out to Almighty God. What is your situation today? The woman with the issue of blood, she had a situation. Hallelujah. She was not permitted, hey, somebody, to be among the crowd because she was considered unclean. But she said, if I could but only touch the hem of his garment, then I shall be made whole. Hallelujah. Do you have a crawling faith like the woman with the issue of blood? Your faith not strong, you think, but faith can be just like a mustard seed. That is all it needs to cry out to God. 
you may be crawling hallelujah and the skeptics are looking at you but go through the crowd hallelujah go through the crowd with a desire with a determination let your faith push you through the crowd for if I could but touch You have a deadbeat situation. Your situation is deadbeat. You have it for 12 years. Long time situation. All time people would say ratoon. Ratoon situation you have. Ratoon situation. Hey! But the healer is in the house. The deliverer is in the house. He's mighty to save hallelujah he's in the house 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 oh god give him some worship somebody give him some worship as he comes through for you give his, give him some worship <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh glory. I worship your God. I praise. I praise your God. With every breath that I take. I give you worship. 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 Paul in Ephesians 6. And verse 16 asks us, he said above all things, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Paul was talking about the shield maybe that he noticed that the Roman soldier was wearing. For the Roman soldier had two kinds of shield. There was a small one that was used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And there was a large oblong shield that he would use when he was advancing in battle with other soldiers. Hallelujah. Paul was making reference to the larger shield. The sizes were varying and would cover the soldier body. The child of God needs to cover himself with faith as he goes into battle hallelujah because the adversary will throw some darts at us hallelujah peter say call them fiery darts he said we will go into trials hallelujah but he said we should not count it strange when these fiery trials come upon us hallelujah the devil wants to put our faith under fire. Hallelujah. He wants to question our dedication to God. Hallelujah. And so he throw his darts to allow us to become distressed and discouraged. Hallelujah. The adversary will stack up obstacles before us to frustrate us. He will increase the furnace of our trial. But God is hotter than our fire. Hey, somebody. God is hotter hey, than any fire that the adversary wants to put you in. Our faith in God will take care of the sharp missiles that the devil will launch at us. The darts are not only sharp, but they are penetrating and they are fiery. But faith will blunt the edges. Hallelujah. And quench the heat. I want to say to us that our circumstances must not determine our destiny. Your faith in God.
God must be what determines your outcome. Daniel and his friends were able to live faithfully for God even though they were in a foreign land in the midst of a corrupt culture but they resolved in their heart that they would remain faithful to almighty God who never changed the king changed their names hallelujah but their heart remained steadfast in God sister Lewis Sometimes situation wants to change who you are. Situation wants to call you Mara. Hallelujah. Oh God. Instead of joy and sweetness, situation, trials take away your sweetness. But I come by. To tell you that God is a restorer oh, of our joy. God is a restorer of what Satan has stolen from us. The devil wants to steal your health. The devil wants to steal your children. The devil wants to steal your God-given assignment. But today is a day of restoration. The situation that have you captive. The devil wants to rename you. Nebuchadnezzar. Rename. Hallelujah. The children of God. Hallelujah. And he aligned them to the idol worship in Babylon. Some people want to realign you. Hallelujah. But we come to put a stop order and any realignment. There is no name change. You are a child of God. You are royal. Hallelujah. You are blessed and highly favored. You are the apple of God's eye. You are God's elect. You are the seed of righteousness. You are holy. You are beloved. You are faithful. You are true. You are just. Hallelujah. For Habakkuk said, though the fig tree will not blossom, there won't be any olive in the vine. Hallelujah. There will be no ox in the stall. But yet, I will rejoice in God because I am the righteous seed. So Nebuchadnezzar wants to change your name. Hey, God Almighty. No realignment. No realignment. Hallelujah. We will not join to the forces of darkness. Your fiery trials will not allow you to change your position. Hallelujah. What you're going through will not allow you to curse God. Hey, God Almighty. For Job said, all my appointed time... I will wait um, until uh, my change come. Uh, for the Lord give us uh, and the Lord take us. Uh, blessed be the name um, of the Lord. Uh, so you can take my riches. Uh, hallelujah. But I will rejoice in God. When trials come, you have to be careful. Who you walk beside or who walk beside you not everyone is fitted for faith journey hallelujah 
because they're hoping to see the outcome. Hallelujah. But faith, hallelujah, have a faith companion. My sister, when you're going through your trials, it's not everybody. You must make work beside you. Come on, somebody. Because not everybody will understand what you're going through. Job's wife did not understand what Job was going through. And so she said to him, curse God and die. Job's friends did not understand what Job was going through. Hallelujah. But Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And though worms destroy my body, but yet in this very flesh, I will see God. I will see him for myself. And not another. Not another. You can trust God in your darkest hour. You can trust God when you feel like the boat is sinking. You feel like you're going under. Hallelujah. And when you look, uh, you envision ghost-like figure. Peter thought it was a ghost that he saw when Jesus was walking upon the water. Sometimes our trials and our tribulation tell us, uh, hallelujah, that we are seen dopey. Hallelujah. It is as if you're getting crazy and you're out of your mind. But can I say to you that the master is in the boat. The captain of the ship is on boat. Oh God, is on the boat. The captain of the ship is right beside you. You will anchor in the harbor safe. My anchor holds and grips uh, the solid rock. Uh, you feel like you can't carry on anymore. Yes, you have tribulation. You have enough persecution. There is enough famine, enough nakedness, enough peril, enough sword. Hallelujah. Enough uh, jobless days. Uh, Enough backbiting, enough skepticism. Yes, you have had enough burn from the darts of the enemy, but you can't turn back. Like the Apostle Paul in Romans 8 and verse 35 to 39, you are saying, Who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Hallelujah! For in all of these things, I am more than conquerors. Through him that loved me. For I am persuaded. That neither death. Nor life. Nor angels. Nor principalities. Nor powers. Nor things present. Nor things to come. Nor height. Nor depth. Nor any other creature. Shall be able to separate me. From the love of God. Which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. More than a conqueror. More than an overcomer. Yes, somebody. I am not a victim. But I am a victor. Ah, oh, God Almighty. I am expected to live by faith. Hallelujah. I want to say to us uh, that trials come to strengthen uh, our character and our faith. Uh, as your faith is put on the fire, as you experience the volcanic eruption in your life, uh, may I say to you, it is for your benefit. A volcano is very dangerous. But there are some benefits that we derive from volcanic explosion. Ha! 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It creates new islands. Hallelujah. And it creates new lands. It creates new habitat. Hallelujah. I want to say to us, God wants to create a new you through your trials. A new island. <laughs> oh my God. Not only an island in the sun, but God wants to create a new island out of your life. Hallelujah. God wants to create, hallelujah, a new ministry, a new authority, and a new vision out of the burns that you are getting from the adversary. He wants to create a beautiful landscape out of your life. Hallelujah. God wants to build your fortitude. God wants to establish you. So he's bringing you through fiery trials. We can trust God to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that, which we are able to ask, think, and even imagine. My brothers and my sisters, your faith in God will determine, determine your outcome. In concluding today, I would like to submit that faith can be little. It can be shipwrecked. It can be weak. It can be unstable, resulting in an answered prayer. But faith can be strong. I would also like to encourage you that as you travel on this journey, that you must keep your eyes on Jesus. For he is the author and the finisher of your faith. God bless you. Come on, give the Lord some praise in the house today. Lift your hands and praise the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah! Do you know that we are living by faith only because of God today? Glory be to the name of Jesus. I'm going to ask you to point your hands in the direction that God's servant is right now. And let's just pray that God will just restore to her oh the strength that she needs to go through and cause her to rise above all circumstances to be the voice of God in a barren land to speak to the people of God in a time like this hallelujah God we commend your daughter into your hands father we pray that you'll pour back into her now even as she has poured out to your people. Lord, be the restorer of our faith. Be the restorer of our physical being. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as she has emptied herself to your people now. Fill her up again. Pour back into her. Saturate her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let there be no backlash. No, hallelujah. Lord, back back every force of darkness. Hey, break the hand of the enemy that would want to strike her now in the name of Jesus Christ. And she shall rise above all circumstances and continue to declare the glory of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Strength for today. And bright hope for tomorrow as she continues to be a mouthpiece for Almighty God. Bless, preserve, and sanctify your daughter one more time 
in the name of Jesus Christ and the people of God say yeah. can we say amen yeah. can we say amen yeah. to the will and to the way of Almighty God clap your hands for victory somebody <laughs> glory to the most thy God wow what a word what a word hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah glory to the most high god hallelujah praise god i'm confident that we have received the word of the lord today have you received something from god oh 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 hallelujah have you received something from god Oh, thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands of victory, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the most high God. It's time that we have a peaceful reflection on that which the Lord has showered is upon us today. I have all confidence that the people of God have come to this gathering today and many may be saying if God can't help me today there is no hope but there is hope in Jesus Christ <laughs> hallelujah living by faith has come today as a strong word to every believer it is said that faith is dumb to discouragement faith is blinded to impossibilities faith is victorious over challenges and faith knows nothing but success hallelujah are you ready to walk out of this western zone convention with success as a fly flying as a flag flying high hallelujah Someone is going to be saying, Got you any rivers that seemeth uncrossable? Which is a question. Got you any mountains you can't tunnel through? It's another question. But there is a statement which says, God specializes in things that seem impossible. And he'll do. He'll do. He'll do. What no other power? Is that your confidence in God today? I'm going to ask you to stand, children of God. Stand as a public testimony. That your faith is deeply rooted in a God that cannot fail. In a God that was yesterday. In a God who is today. And a God who will be tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not here to preach again. But I'm just here to strengthen your faith in God. I'm just here to solidify our faith in a God that cannot fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A few years ago, I was at a gathering and there was a little boy that was there. I'm not going to call his name. But I said to him, so and so, what's going on? And you hear what he said? He said, Medaya. Hello, he said, Medaya. And I want to say to us today, let's take it by extension. Medaya. And we are going through. Yeah. Amen. Are you going through? Yeah. Regardless of the challenges. Regardless of the circumstance, you can tell the devil today because of your faith in God, Midaya, I may have got you. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, Midaya, I may have got you. Hallelujah! Because we can't give up now. We're not giving up. Glory to God. But the faith that we have in God is going to take us through. Tell your other neighbor, neighbor. Medaya, I may have got you. Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! Hey! Glory, glory, glory! 
amid the circumstances, Sister Blair, we die off. And we are go through. High five your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, we die off. And we are go through. Oh, glory. Oh, Hallelujah! So regardless what the enemy wants to try, you can tell the enemy, me die. I may have go through Sister Park. Not giving up, me not give up. No turning back. But we are going through in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I hear the song man say, just like a tree that is planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Come on, praise team. Let's sing that song. As we get ready for lunch. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that is planted by the water I shall not be moved Come on, sing it again I shall not, I shall not be moved Hold your neighbor's hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you today again. Thank you for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your servant who has been obedient to you to present a word living by faith. And we have received that word today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we know that many persons have come here today with various sorts of challenges. All kind of bangarang. Oh, hallelujah. Circumstances that have caused us to even wonder where is God in this? Circumstances, Lord, that cause your people to even feel discouraged and want to throw in the towel and give up the faith. But today, Lord, we come to this women's ministry convention and it's like we drop to the service station and we open our gas tank and we say to the pump attendant fill up the tank oh man be a lobo shot to your lobo hallelujah glory glory hallelujah fill up the tank lord pump in some more because the journey is great and I don't intend to run out I must reach my destination with you no know, fuel in my tank hallelujah oh ho 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 thank you Jesus mm. hallelujah hallelujah Father in heaven, Father in heaven, like the songman said, we have started out 
a long time ago and I must make heaven my choice so father stand beside us when discouragement comes remind us of your word oh that you will never leave us nor will you ever forsake us father when troubles and trials come remind us that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever so keep us true Lord Jesus keep us true father stand by us when the storms of life are raging stand by us when difficulties and troubles and trials come when all sorts of moderation come remind us Lord that you are closer than a brother to us so father we commit ourselves into your hands yes Lord yes Lord we give ourselves to you again today keep us true Lord Jesus keep us true for there's a race that we must run there's a battle to be won so keep us true stand by us envelop us with your love and cause your people to rejoice again father we command all those broken heartedness to be healed today by faith in the name of jesus christ we speak to every circumstance we speak to every challenge and we say to the enemy we look him square in the face today as if he feels that we are going to give up and backslide and curse God but we want to tell him one more time in this convention we die we as people of God we die children of God we die and guess what Satan we are going to we are going to we are going to hey sister Charmaine we are going to difficulties and troubles death but we are going to in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah shout glory Thank you, Jesus. Let us just say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. It has been good. I am happy I am here. Tell your neighbor, I am happy I am here. Tell the other one beside you, I am happy I am here. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. We have come to the end of the first session, or almost. We have one hour for lunch, so we will be back here in one hour. It's now five past twelve, and we can do the math, right? Good. In one hour, we'll be here. But before you go, you know, many times we watch television, we love TBN and all of that and we see Joyce Myers and all those people they are on TV and we, we turn on with TV to watch them don't it and if they say they have a magazine we buy it right we support those foreign people well I am kindly asking you to let us support our own a woman of God for over 50 years working with God please support this work the world by Sister Evan Blair. It's only $1,000. And this one is mine. So therefore, please support 
there, over there, come by the table and get your copy. Trust me, I glanced through it and I'm telling you, the word so far has been very encouraging. When you feel down and so on, you can read and be encouraged. Amen? Amen. And we are now going to dismiss, but I just want you to point your hand at the preacher. Everybody, and say, bless our Lord. Bless our Lord. Say it another time, bless our Lord. Bless her, and we send her up, cover under the blood to face the challenges. Because the devil coming in now. But in the name of Jesus, she's covered. Amen? Amen. We also have prayer breakfast tickets available. And please get them today. You can get them during the lunchtime. Anytime you can sleep and get them. Please support the prayer breakfast. It's an annual thing. We all know about it. All right? Conway.